Hi, my name is Gina Watkinson. I'm the Conservation Lab Manager at the Arizona State Museum at the University of Arizona, and I would like to share with you our method for object labeling. The procedures for this method are also available in the Human Remains Guide for Museum and Academic Institutions. First, let's gather the tools we will need. A ruler, I like to use a clear plastic ruler, rounded flat tweezers, scissors, a sharp X-Acto knife, bamboo skewer or toothpicks, cotton swabs, acid-free paper, laser printer, distilled warm water, paper towels, and last but not least, Roplex B60A. Roplex B60A is a low viscosity acrylic emulsion and it is available from conservation resources. We use nail polish bottles to hold small quantities of the Roplex B60A. The brushes are handy and the small bottles prevent the Roplex from drying out. You can buy empty nail polish bottles on Amazon or from your local nail supply store. The best way to fill the nail polish bottles is with a small funnel. To create the paper labels, type the object numbers in either Century Gothic or Arial type font in bold. I like to type the numbers out in several sizes so I can determine what fits best on the object. The font size depends on the size of the item and the surface available for label placement. I tend to use font sizes 8, 6, and 4 on most objects. If a small font size is hard to read, you can space out the numbers to make it more legible. To do this in Microsoft Word, highlight the number and right click, then select font. In the font window, select expanded in spacing or enter a value after buy. Hit OK to confirm the settings. Now print out your labels using a laser printer. To separate the numbers, carefully cut the paper with a ruler and X-Acto knife. The clear ruler helps with lining the X-Acto just below the numbers without cutting any of the print off. After the number is cut away from the paper, round the corners with scissors. This will prevent lifting of the label. Now that your label is cut out, let's adhere it to the object. First, place your object on a clean surface and use bean bags or foam to safely support your object if needed. I also recommend checking to make sure that there isn't any dust or debris on the surface of your object before applying the label. Make sure you have all your tools ready. I like to have everything I need on a tray next to me. Loosen the cap of the Roplex B60A. Use the tweezers to pick up the label and decide where you want to put it on the object. On the back side of the label, brush on a light coat of the Roplex. Now carefully place the label onto the object. Use a cotton swab or bamboo stick to push the paper label into place. Wait until the label is secured to the surface and then brush on a top coat to protect the paper label from abrasion and lifting. Make sure to cover the entire paper label and the label edges. Resist the urge to use your finger to remove any excess roll plaques. 
If there is any pooling, use a cotton swab to absorb it. In the event that you need to remove a label from an object, first apply a small amount of distilled warm water with a cotton swab to the top surface of the label. Let the water absorb into the label to soften the Rolplex. Next, use a bamboo skewer to gently lift one corner of the label. The label should be soft and easily lift. Use a wet cotton swab to remove the adhesive under the label and help roll the label away from the surface. Rewet the top of the label as needed. Use a pair of tweezers to assist with rolling the label back. Do not pull the label upwards or too quickly. This may result in surface loss. Use a damp cotton swab to remove any excess roll plaques remaining on the surface of the object. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you learned something new. Please feel free to get in touch with me if you have any questions. Happy labeling!